Most Galaxy Note users, they don't use their S Pen. And I understand why, you know, they don't feel the need for it. But I've been using the Galaxy Note and the S Pen for quite a few years now and I use it religiously. So I thought, let me share how I tend to use it and maybe that's of some help to you guys. The most important and the most useful S Pen feature that I find is the ability to pull it out and just make a note right on the fly. No app required and no setting required for this. And now you also get the option to have different colors on this screen of memo. That's what it's called. So earlier you just used to have one color, uh, but with the Note 10, you now have multiple colors as well. So you can create some differentiation. The other thing is you can pin this reminder to your always on display. So if there's anything that's important and you want it to be upfront on your always on display, you can just pin it and it's gonna stay there for 30 minutes. The other thing that's great about the S Pen is that it's a great tool to crop anything that I like. It could be, you know, a piece of an article. It could be a picture on Instagram. It could be anything. Just pull out the S Pen, use Smart Select as the option and just drag around that particular thing that you want to cut and you get the option to share it instantly. And the other thing is you can also use Smart Select to extract text from an image. You know, a lot of times I don't want to share the image, but what's actually written on it. So again, pull out the S Pen, use Smart Select, draw around it. It'll give you the option to extract text. And when you do that, you get that text, which you can then copy or you can share directly using whatever app that you want to with whoever you want. And you know, sometimes you just want to keep something in front of you for reference, like a phone number, uh, you know, an address or even email address. It could be like a lot of things that you just want in front of you for reference. For example, I'm just making up an example, an address that I want to have in front of me, okay? Uh, it could be for anything. Uh, I just have to send it to someone. I need to look for directions uh, by keying in that input in Google Maps, just anything. So it's just easier to have that. I can use other apps and this would continue to overlay it. I can minimize it, have around just go to that app and then call it back and use it. Screen write is another feature I use a lot. I mean, it depends on the kind of work that you're doing, but in my line of work, I have to provide feedback on like mockups and wireframes. So it's very easy for me, you know, I just open the image, I take a screen write uh, shot, and then I can just highlight things that I need, you know, to move around. And it's so much easier and convenient and efficient uh, to give feedback using that module. Now, there are a lot of colors that you can choose from. If it's not there in the preset ones, you can just open the color wheel and you can select one. You can add your favorite colors. If you don't like that, you can use the pixel palette as well. Uh, you can choose from your different brushes. I think this was not there in the Note 9 and has been introduced with the Note 10. Once you're done, just share it with whoever you had to. And you really don't have to stick to that use case. You know, I use it for Google Maps. Also, a lot of times I wanna tell someone, you know, be here, this is the route that you can take. It's just a lot easier sometimes to tell them how to come around. Um, I do this quite often, so I'm just sharing with you. Otherwise, you can just doodle on some photo and share it with your friend. I can't doodle, so I'm just writing for the sake of it, but you get the idea. I also use the S Pen extensively while I'm recording the screen. Again, a way I give feedback to my peers in office. So let's say I enable screen recording, which by the way is a native feature in the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So while I'm recording the screen, which is happening right as we speak, uh, I can use the S Pen to highlight stuff, okay? Guys, this is so helpful and it's, it's, it has saved me so much more time. I don't even have to be in office to explain a lot of these things, which I can only do over the desk. But you know, once I'm done, I save that recording and then I can share it using WhatsApp or however I want to over email. And then the person on the other side can watch that video and they can exactly see what I did, you know? So all of this is being played back. Uh, this is the video that we just captured. And you can see that, you know, when I use the S Pen, it's recorded that entire thing. And you know, the person at the other end can now, I can bring their focus to what I really want to. This has been really helpful. I also use the S Pen to highlight select files uh, in gallery or email or messaging. Not email so much because that's fairly convenient using your finger as well, but especially in the gallery, just see how simple it makes my selections. And when, once I'm done, I long press and then I can move these files around, drop them into a new uh, folder or in, in an existing album. Again, same for messages. I can just, you know, highlight them in one go. Again, nothing that my fingers can't already do very easily, but it just helps if I'm already using the S Pen. A lot of times when you want to copy text, what do you do? You long press with your finger and you hope that, you know, the highlighter will come. 
a lot of times you can't do that. For example, I can't do that in Medium app, but if I've got the S Pen, tap the button and just highlight that text and it'll get highlighted. Now you see how that's a little exclusive to the Galaxy Note series because you don't have the pen in anything else. There's also something called as Air View that comes with the S Pen. For example, if there's a link and you just wanna see what that's gonna be, uh, you can just hover your S Pen over it. It'll give you a preview of what it's really about. Um, I use that even on WhatsApp messages and SMS. If you, if you just hover, it'll show you the contents it does in gallery as well. Now I know everyone's been overly critical about the air gestures that have come with the new S Pen. I agree, actually to a huge extent, to a regular customer it might not even be that helpful. But hey, you know, I think you can find your use case. For me, I do pretend to be overly productive when I'm eating, so I tend to read something or catch up on something. That's when it's been a bit useful. Also, when I've used the camera uh, with additional hardware to record videos using the smartphone, oh boy, that was really helpful with the S Pen. And guys, it's an excellent tool to just make notes after all. Um, I am a huge user of the Galaxy Note smartphones also because I use the S Pen a lot to make and take notes. It is really generous with, you know, all features. Uh, it's got like multiple colors. So you can choose from, you know, a lot of these color palettes that are pre-generated for you. You can you create your own. You can change the brush size and the brush type. There's just so many things. It is seriously a very underrated note-taking app one of the best that I've ever seen. Plus it's really powerful, you know, you can share it, you can export it as a Microsoft Word file, PDF, an image, just text, and even as a Samsung Note file with other Note users. Uh, you can pin this to your home screen, or you can set it up as a reminder. So all of these are really useful tools if you use them. And the last thing is you can just use the S Pen to use your phone instead of your finger. Now I know it sounds like, why would I do that? But you know, it's just something that you have to experience. Uh, when I'm using the S Pen, it's actually difficult to leave it or let it go and then go get back to using your finger. It's just something that you get used to. And you know, you can see more screen at the same time. You know, hands and fingers just take up a little bit of space. Uh, I know you will not realize all these things. It's just something you have to experience. So yeah, you know, the S Pen, it may not be for everyone, but if you do find the right use for it, I think it's a brilliant tool. It's a brilliant productivity tool for me. So thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one.